With 80% of the land in Wales being managed by farmers, Agri is in a unique position to deliver ecosystem services and environmental goods, as well as providing food. But we can do more for soils and wildlife, and we must. And yet, misinformation, disconnection and use in agriculture as a scapegoat for global resource issues means extremes of opinion have led to consumer patterns which don't support food produced high environmental standards. For example here, I mostly use sheep and cattle as a conservation management tool. But freer trade, cuts to support payments, even cheaper food, would massively reduce agriculture's ability to deliver these high environmental standards due to competition. I'm calling on the UK and Welsh Government to work with farmers to transition towards a system which better rewards and incentivises high environmental standards and improve education and awareness of the environmental benefits agriculture already brings. At the end of the day, the environment and agriculture need each other. Rural Wales is at the heart of our economy and it's a fantastic place for people to come work, live and thrive. It's the powerhouse behind our economy, providing 67% of our nation's wealth. But we can do better than that. And I'm calling on the Welsh Government to ensure they pursue an active growth deal for rural Mid Wales with the Westminster Government to ensure that the opportunities are here for people to come, work, live and thrive in this fantastic landscape. <laughs> On bain to dyn am bwna'r yn calad. Wel, er enghraifft, cymryd y ffarm dyliol yma yng nghanol nes môn. Mi ys dwythan unig, fe dalon ni allan dros 9,000 o byna of iawn 7 milltir o gyat y ffarm. Ac of iawn y bystesau nawn ni'n gefnogi, maen nhw'n cefnogi dros 200 a 90 o'r dystaf. A tyda ni, di mewn dyn ffarm bychan yn tirlun am aeth Cymru cyfan. Cwestiwn eich eidi, faint o'r busnesau na, mae'n sa'n llwyddi annus, os oes ni yn mewn morio bwyd i'r lad ma. Yr ata fel syml ydy dim. Mae Cymru angen cymglad llywyrchus a profitiol er mwyn hybu economi Cymru ac er mwyn hybu gobaith i'r ffermwyr ifanc y dyfodol. Technology has always played an important role in agriculture. From the horse and plough of our forefathers, the state-of-the-art tractors now seen on farms across Wales. Technology has evolved over centuries, but in particular in the modern era of computers and mobile phones, it has increased due to, due to these particular tools. The use of technology in managing farming businesses has enabled the agricultural sector to be seen on the same level as other industries in Wales. The development of EID tags over recent years has enabled the farmer to collect information more accurately and easily. In particular, in the sheep industry, the use of EID for management purposes has given the farmer the means of easily identifying those sheep which are making the greatest contribution to his farm income and those that are costing him money. Of course, there are many more examples of how technology has developed across other agricultural sectors in Wales. Welsh Government has a key role in continuing to support the new innovative technologies for future generations. Our ask to the Welsh Government is that they continue to be at the forefront of advan advancements in technology by providing funding for research and training through schemes such as the Farming Connect Knowledge Transfer Scheme. The ability to benchmark through technology is key to ensuring that farmers can run their businesses more efficiently to improve competitiveness and to increase profitability. Providing farmers with the right training and tool equipment for using technology will ensure that there is a vibrant and dynamic future for those working and living in rural Wales. Hello, my name is Gareth Davis and I'm a beef and sheep farmer from Mid Wales. I'd like to talk about the contribution that agriculture gives to the tourism industry. We all know that tourism is hugely important to Wales. It generates £8.7 billion a year to the Welsh economy. And of, co and of course, farmers not only manage and deliver this beautiful countryside, they also provide top quality accommodation such as on-farm B&B, campsites and log cabins. This has a massive effect on the rural economy, bringing vital jobs and services into rural Wales. So it is the utmost importance Wales as a whole supports tourism on Welsh farms. I call on leaders in Welsh Government to bring out well thought out policies that encourages us as a farming industry to enter into the tourism sector. Let's build on all the good work 
that we as a country have done for tourism. So not just farms and rural businesses can benefit, but the whole of Wales. The off. I believe that a key issue for Welsh farmers to be involved with is the promotion of Welsh produce, not just to the UK or to Europe, but to the whole world. The PEI and the PEO of Welsh lamb and Welsh beef is a fantastic advertising tool that we're currently using, but this should be expanded upon. There needs to be more investment and more research and really push the standards that we produce in Wales home, producing the benefits and especially the quality of the Welsh produce. The Welsh lamb and Welsh beef standards will only really come into effect if there is free trade with the, the whole of the world. We should be urging the Welsh Government to do their utmost to get the best deal possible, especially for Welsh farmers. Another tool that we should be embracing in the promotion of Welsh lamb is the, is the shelf life status. New Zealand are currently leading the way with an 80 day plus shelf life on their produce. For us to be able to compete on a worldwide market, we need to be the same. We should be urging the Welsh Government to ensure the standards are there for us to hit this target. Community. Something we are incredibly proud of here in Wales. Up and down the country, we have thriving, active communities working hard for the good of the rural people. Here in the Dasunni Valley, it is no different to any other part of Wales, with family farms playing an active role within our community, that being on the parish council, the village hall, or working with the primary school or high school, or the YFC, who work tirelessly within our community to bring people together and for the future of young people in our community. Our industry faces so many challenges in the next few years, and I'm calling on Welsh and UK government to ensure family farms are protected for the future. They play a vital role in rural communities in Wales, and they are the backbone of the Welsh language here in Wales. It is vitally important that they are protected and that they thrive for the future, so we have a successful Welsh agriculture for the future of others. The UK has one of the highest animal welfare standards in the world. Whilst the government has originally made it clear that it wishes to trade globally whilst preserving high quality standards, the biggest threat post-Brexit comes from farmers having to compete with cheap imports and countries who produce to a lower standard. Farmers take seriously their commitment to ensuring the welfare of their animals. We participate in yearly inspections, record keeping and good code of practice along with taking seriously disease control. All of which contribute to making our premium products world renowned. We have labelling such as Red Tractor which ensures the quality, welfare, traceability of our products. Yet whilst 80% of wealth consumers may regard animal welfare as important in their decision making, this doesn't translate into sales. We see extreme voices given platform without strong rebuttal and supermarkets competing with each other as the cheapest. It is why I'm asking the Welsh Government to champion and educate people on the already high animal welfare standards we practice in Wales and to make sure the agricultural industry remains competitive without sacrificing our welfare standards. Food and farming, the leading employer within the Welsh economy. Food and farming in Wales employs nearly 20% of the country's workforce, more than the aerospace and automobile industries put together and it contributes 6.1 billion to the economy of Wales. These are two very important points when considering the contribution that food and farming brings to the Welsh economy. A thriving economy is dependent on a skilled and available workforce. We believe that the Welsh Government and its stakeholders have a crucial role to play in supporting the food and farming workforce by ensuring it is fit for purpose Organisations within the industry need to be financially encouraged to collaborate with our schools, colleges and universities to deliver relevant training and apprenticeship schemes that commercial organisations require. Therefore, we call on the Welsh Government to ensure a thriving food and farming industry as is vital for the economy of Wales and to ensure we have a dynamic, motivated and well-educated workforce to meet any future challenges. Mae'r sector araith yn rhan Nghymru yn chwarae rôl hanfodol i sicrhau wedi iaith Gymraeg yn parhau ffynnu ac yn gael ei gwarchod yn man hen glad Cymru. 
Mae'r sydegau diweddar gan undeb o meithwyr Cymru yn dangos fod ameithwyr yn ardaloedd dol benmaen, sydd gan arfon, y bala a llanuwchyn sydd weirionydd, a melindwr yn henedigion, o ddeitu cant y cant yn siarad Cymraeg. Mae 61 y cant o holl siaradwyr ieithoedd Celtaidd yn siaradwyr Cymraeg. Mae trian o boblogaeth Cymru yn byw yng Nghefn Gwlad Cymru, ac felly dyna lle mae amaethyddiaeth a'r busnesau sy'n dibynnu ar amaethyddiaeth yn ffynnu. Mae'r iaith Gymraeg hefyd yn ffynnu yn yr ardaloedd hynny. Mae o blygiadau yr sector amaeth yng Nghymru ar y iaith Gymraeg yn sylweddol, ac mae'r iaith Gymraeg yn sicrhau diwylliant iach ac yn gyfrithasol yn fan Nghefn Gwlad Cymru. Dyn ni'n gofyn i'r llywodraeth sy'n cyrhau fod rôl y Comisiynydd y Gymraeg yn cael ei gwarchod i sy'n cyrhau fod yn hawliau ni i ddefnyddio'r iaith Gymraeg, hawliau yn plant sy'n dderbyn addysg yn Gymraeg, a'n hawliau ni dderbyn cymlysterau gwahanol yn Gymraeg yn cael ei gwarchod. Those are very proud of the food quality we produce. We are very fortunate to live in the terrain and the environment that we do. Sometimes challenging terrains and sometimes challenging weather conditions. But over the years we have a, a learned to embrace these conditions and this gives us the food quality we have today. With many of our livestock being grass fed to very high welfare standards. Our food quality is renowned around the world as a quality product. So I asked the Welsh Government to safeguard our, our quality product by ensuring free trade by restricting the imports of foods from other countries with lower welfare standards, with lower food quality, with lower cost of productions, and to continue to investigate in exciting, new, prosperous export markets in developing countries further away, but, and also address the issues coming with these markets. We need a longer shelf life on our products. So we continue, can continue to produce the high quality foods that we do today and that we can stand behind our food together as ministers, as leaders in the industry, as producers, as workers, stand behind our product and say, this is ours, this is quality, this is Welsh. At the end of the day, at the heart of any rural economy is what's closest to any of our hearts our family. The family farm is what keeps the rural communities alive. The rural schools, village shops, pubs, churches, youth clubs, young farmers clubs, they all employ people and provide lifeline services. The skills learned on the family farm have been passed down from generations to generations, from parent to child. Working in harmony, many generations Together shape the Welsh landscape, the economy and the culture. The family farm is a vital link to the Future Generations Act. The family farm leads the way for a positive effect on all our futures. Isn't that right, lads? Yes! 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 At the end of the day, the heart of any rural economy is what's closest to all of our hearts. Our family. The family farm is what keeps the rural communities alive. The rural schools, village shops, pubs, churches, youth clubs, young farmers clubs and all employ people and provide lifeline services. <laughs> Isn't that right boys? Jolly old yes! <laughs>